Hey guys, it's Kane here, and right now I'm going to show you a few tutorials, and it's not going to be all in one video, it's actually going to be a few different videos. Um, Right now I'm going to show you how to customize your homebrew menu, and I'm going to show you how to get a theme for the Wii on 4.3 without bricking it, and how to get a theme on the homebrew channel, and um, there's a way to get a theme for... A configurable USB loader but I'm not really sure how you do that so that'll be another time maybe but very soon I will be showing you guys how to um get free games for the Wii because I've been piling them all up and I have a pretty good amount so far so for the games I recommend a 16 gigabyte USB but other than that right now you need to plug in your SD card that you use for um, the hunger menu. Also, mine is 1.88 gigabytes. So, yeah, I have another SD card that is 16 gigs actually, and that's what I use for my games. So you can use a 16 gigabyte USB external hard drive or a 16 gigabyte SD or whatever you want. I mean, as long as it's got a lot of space, it's the more space it has the better but um anyways what you want to do is you just want to click on here now you're gonna download microwave sam we themes for pack um 4.3u 4. 4. blah blah and blah blah now this right here if you were to use these it would brick your Wii but I edited this like I actually changed um like I took out the menus that or the themes that were gonna break your Wii and I replaced them with the ones that aren't and by the way guys this I'm I'm not taking credit for this I'll show you the guy's YouTube channel who actually um, showed me this I watched his tutorial so subscribe to him and these are his themes that he sorry that he had in his download so now I'm going to show you where to get them. You just need to download um, Microwave Sand Pack and put it on the root of your SD card. And then you also need to download My Menu Fee and put that in your apps folder. And um, and yeah. Also, if you want a theme for the Homebrew channel, you just download one and put it in the apps folder too. And then I'll show you guys the rest on the Wii. But right now I'm going to show you where to get the themes because I'm going to go get a new one for the homebrew channel. Okay, I have it bookmarked. I just have to figure out which one it is. Okay, here it is. We.spiffy360.com Now, I don't remember who showed me this. Um but I do know that whoever it was had this link or something and I couldn't really find any video tutorials on how to like customize the hungry channel and how to um get themes for it so I just like figured it out myself and all you have to do is just go to this website it'll be in the description now you can choose any one of these um, file creator you can choose who you want it to be specifically by you can choose what software as in like who like um the homebrew channel USB loader GX and other things like that you can choose by how, how it was uploaded like if it was recent very close and um and all that so I'm just gonna um, I'm just going to do most downloaded and I'm going to choose software homebrew channel now you can choose any of these that you see right here and then you just click go and these are the ones that you can download it's just going to load up with the themes that you can download for what Okay, now you can see that out of the Pokemon, Super Mario, and blah blah. Um, I'm just gonna have to choose a different one because I already have 
the Super Mario Galaxy 2 theme. And you have to wait for this little thing to stop loading in order for you to scroll down. Okay. Now whenever you whenever it's done loading you can just scroll down whenever it wants to let me. I'm just gonna give it a few seconds. Okay. And um now just scroll through to see what you want. Now I'm gonna do um I'm gonna do Call of Duty Black Ops. You just click the little download button right here. And you can just open it if it's a dot zip and then it'll just open up. Now these are all themes for the homebrew channel and you can tell by it saying HBC. Now I'm also going to download this one because I like how it has it laid out to where I can see a lot of the um, a lot of uh, apps at one time instead of having to scroll through pages. Now there's that theme and that theme. Now you can bookmark this page if you want. I'm just going to close out of it. And here it is, HBC Black Ops theme, COD. And you just drag it to your desktop, the, f the folder that's in there. And then just choose the bitter purple uh, Wii Homebrew uh, theme. I don't know what, oh, okay, that's just an example image. Um, yeah, you can just close out of it whenever you've done that. Okay, now you just want to open up your um your computer, and you want to go to the hot or your SD card, and we're just gonna drag these folders onto there. An apps folder. So let it load. Okay, whenever it loads, just click on your SD card. Pull it over to the side. Click on apps. Now just drag these two in here. And now it's going to copy them there. Okay guys, now just to save some time, I'm going to stop the camera, or stop the recording here, and I'm going to um, meet you guys back over on the Wii.